Hi, I'm Mr. Simons. I'm really here, I promise. In this video, what we're going to do is we're going to look at the second account in the balance of payments, which is the capital and financial account. Now, if you haven't watched the current account video, I recommend you start there and you can access that by uh, clicking the thing at the top cornery thingy of this video right now. Okay, if you're ready to roll, I am as well. Let's have a look at the capital and financial account of the balance of payments. Okay, so what we're looking at is the capital and financial account of the balance of payments. And remember that the balance of payments is a record of transactions between Australia and the rest of the world over a period of time. It's recording those uh, trade and financial flows over that period of time. And remember the balance of payments consists of two accounts, two accounts. The current account, which we've looked at in a separate video. And in this video, we're going to look at the capital and financial account. Now, when we use this, just remember that K, that's that uh, abbreviation, that economic symbol for capital. So in considering the capital and financial account, that it consists of two separate accounts, that you've got the capital account and also the financial account. And in terms of looking at these accounts, that the capital and financial account is concerned with financial assets and liabilities that flow into and out of Australia. This account consists of money flows relating to international borrowing, lending, and also the purchase of assets. So we are classifying these types of transactions in the capital and financial account. Now, an important thing to know when looking at the current account versus the capital and financial account is that in the capital and financial account, the transactions are reversible. They can be undone. Now, remember with the current account, transactions are non-reversible. They cannot be undone. So with the capital and financial account, you can think about, so an investor decides to withdraw their money from an investment project. They, they undo that transaction. And that can happen on the capital and financial account. Okay, so here we are at the capital and financial account. And you can see as we kind of look down, you can see the different components. Let's stay with highlighters. We can see, okay. So the capital account is broken up, sorry, the capital and financial account is broken up to the capital account and then the financial account. And then we get the balance on the capital and financial account. So in terms of breaking this down a little bit further, we can see that the capital account consists of capital transfers, which I've got here. And it also consists of these non-produced non-financial assets, which I've got here. So it's important that we understand what this all means. So when we talk about capital transfers in this context, these are the types of transactions that we're talking about. So what we're talking about with capital transfers are things like conditional foreign aid. And conditional foreign aid is when uh, a government gives another government assistance, but it is conditional. That means it is tied to a particular purpose. It can be only used for a certain thing. The other thing recorded in capital transfers is debt forgiveness, which is where a government uh, that is owed money by another government says, no, don't worry, you don't have to pay it back. It's cool. It's cool, man. You don't have to do that. So they forgive the debt. So those things are recorded under capital transfers. If we then look at non-produced, non-financial assets, ugh, it sounds so confusing. Perfect. What we're looking at is sort of intangible assets that can have substantial value. So we might be talking about things like the value of intellectual property, the value of patents, the value of copyrights, we could even be talking about the value of franchises and trademarks. TM's just trademarks. So all of these non-produced, non-financial assets that are intangible, I can't really hold a trademark, but it is worth money. So that's recorded in the capital account. So let's go a bit deeper now. 
So if we think about the financial account, and we can see the financial account here, the financial account shows Australian transactions in foreign assets and liabilities. And that the foreign, the financial account has all of these different components. So there's direct investment, portfolio investment, financial derivatives, other investment, reserve assets. So we gotta be clear about all these different components. So when we talk about direct investment, what we're talking about is foreign direct investment or FDI. And so what that means is that if we're talking about an existing business, an investor takes a stake of greater than 10% or an investor creates a wholly new business. But what it is, is it's direct investment. It's that long-term greater than 10% controlling stake interest potentially controlling stake interest, sorry. So long-term, wanting to play a role in the decision-making. I think I've made many points. So our next type or next category inside the financial account. So portfolio investment are those small stakes in existing businesses. It's kind of like that, that investing portfolio, like a little bit over here, little bit over here and none of them go into that 10% range that would push it into foreign direct investment. So portfolio investment is that kind of smaller stakes in investing in existing businesses. Oh, financial derivatives. If you've seen the big short or familiar with the financial crisis, it's kind of related to some of those um, elements or instruments or assets that played a role here. Financial derivatives look at very complex financial instruments that are traded um, between Australia and the rest of the world. So financial derivatives are assets that are based on the performance of other assets. So they're kind of like a combination of other assets. You invest in this group and you try and make some money. Now it's very complex. I'm not an expert. I'm not trying to be. Uh, for our purposes, we just need to know what is recorded in there, but not go into a huge amount of detail. Okay, so we've got direct portfolio financial derivatives. Now we go to other investment. So other investment is kind of like a, a leftovers section. Anything that's not direct portfolio, financial or reserve will be put into this category. The kind of things you might think about sitting here are something like a, a trade credit or maybe loans get recorded in this other investment category. Okay, now our final one is reserve assets. So reserve assets, and this term reserve might give you a clue, relates to the net transactions of the Reserve Bank of Australia. So if the Reserve Bank of Australia is buying and selling currency, is doing other activities, that that will be recorded in this section of the financial account in the capital and financial account. So if we're looking at this final bit now, this balance, on the capital and financial account, all we're doing is we're just adding all of these other categories to get to this balance. So we could say, well, we're looking at the balance capital account plus financial account would give us the balance on the capital and financial account. One thing to pay attention to down here is this category here, which is called net errors and omissions. Net errors and omissions is what's known as a balancing item. So sometimes the numbers aren't going to match up and that to make our lives a little bit easier and to help with the calculations, we might include a balancing item. Basically, it's dealing with statistical variations and things to do with the floating exchange rate and trying to make the numbers balance for statistical purposes because they don't always balance neatly in real life. Okay, so this was the capital and financial account, looking at all those components of that account, which is essentially two accounts. Um, hopefully that was all relatively clear and not too confused. 
any questions, put them in the comments. Uh, please like the video if it was useful. And as always, thanks for watching.